Bordered by the San Alijo Lagoon and the Pacific Ocean, Solana Beach lies in the heart of an abundance of natural beauty. The people of Solana Beach are the true products of such an environment, not only because they compose an active, innovative, and vibrant community, but because they mimic the natural beauty of their surroundings with a passionate commitment to the arts. The Cedros Design District, the North Coast Repertory Theater, and yearly events like Fiesta del Sol are only a few of the venues that draw art lovers to Solana Beach. Recently, as a result of an energetic public arts advisory committee, Solana Beach has installed colorful mosaic tile benches at the bus stop on Highway 101, participated in the successful Arts Alive Street Banner program, named its first artist laureate, and is the temporary home to the sculpture named Star by world-famous artist Nikki de saint Fal. Thanks to the efforts of an artistically driven engine of local government and to the dedicated citizens who fuel it, the city continues to grow culturally with each passing year. Within Solana Beach, there is enough culture to fill a large city, but the local focus and flair give artistic identity to this intimate community. The Public Arts Advisory Committee, or PAC, was created to inform, advise, and make recommendations to the Solana Beach City Council on how to make the arts available and attractive to the community. Here, the PAC discussed current arts projects in Solana Beach. Okay, the idea is that one-on-one, -on -one, let me give you one as finished as this. Piece. Sorry, I'm sorry. This. They're not as finished looking as these, but in some ways I like that better personally. I want to have one of those pieces. I would like to, I just photographed all of this mm -hmm. because it gave you an idea. This as an artist, put it where we can enjoy it. I personally like simple cement. The Arts Alive program is a street banner program involving several north coastal cities. Solana Beach participated by hanging one-of-a-kind artistic banners on Old Highway 101. The beautiful banners decorated the highway as it traced up the coastline. Each banner was created by an artist who was selected by submitting a rendering to the Public Arts Advisory Committee. Even hanging the banners becomes an artistic endeavor. Once installed on the street, they remain on display for several months. During that time, visitors and residents enjoy the banners and the program. All of the banners were removed in June and sold at auction by artist Sandra Ellis Troy at the Fiesta del Sol celebration to raise money for public art. Opening bid, $100. Do I hear $125 for the mermaid? $125 right there, sir. Do I hear $150? It's an enormous piece of artwork. I mean, you will, you will enjoy it for a long time. 150, 150, I have 125, 125. Going once, 125. Going twice, 125. Sold, 125. The banners were on parade for the thousands who attended the Fiesta del Sol. The positive response they received indicated an appreciation for public art and projects like the Arts Alive program. Let's hear from a patron who recently purchased one of the banners. This was the best looking one, I thought. Actually, this one, of course. But. Uh... No, it's a great painting. I think it's a great idea. You guys should continue doing this, definitely. My name's Diane Stacy, and I did this work uh, for Solana Beach as a public gesture of supporting the arts. And I've also done banners in Encinitas for the last two years, and I think this is a wonderful thing that Solana Beach is doing to support the community and bring in art and beauty and music and hopefully more poetry, and it brings people together. Well, I think any chance for a community to have public art, uh, to raise awareness, to have art in the community is a, is a wonderful thing. And I, I think it's great that there's a committee that's really active that's promoting that here in the city of Solana Beach. And I love public art. It really beautifies the town. And I was really excited to have my piece, you know, have people looking at it and be a part of the community here in Solana Beach. The city and the council is so excited about our public arts commission. They're promoting the banners that the individual artists have um, painted. People are auctioning them today at the Fiesta del Sol. And we appreciate the documentary from the cable television so that all of the people can understand and promote our city and make it so beautiful. 
Uh, a couple years ago, we had some very uh, uh, well-known local, local active artists that came to us and asked us to provide support for the local arts in Solana Beach. This particular program is one of them. We're hoping to raise money for the public arts of Solana Beach. And uh, all of it is tax uh, deductible. The art is magnificent. The banners have been all over Cedros and all up and down Highway 101. So it's really an exciting day and a fun event. Okay, Hi, my name is Jim Buckley. I bought two pieces of art and uh, I did it, I guess, to support the uh, community a little bit and the local artists. Adrian I think it's Salmar. nice that uh, Solana Beach is going out of their way to help um, being promote you know, local art. In addition to the fine arts, Solana Beach is also home to live theater. The award-winning North Coast Repertory Theater is an intimate venue hosting plays, musical performances, and lectures. Here, we see a glimpse of the exciting junior theater program where young aspiring actors and actresses learn to explore their craft. That's awesome! When did you find this out? She has long blonde hair and she's about half your height. I swear, she looks like your identical twin at that age. Alright, see you tomorrow. Four o'clock, right? I am not walking out that door until you show me what's behind your back. I don't even know if it's addressed to you or not. Well, today we're uh, meeting with the four writers of the uh, student written and directed one acts. What they do is once a year we uh, students come uh, and begin to write one act plays that we will later produce and they will direct. They're responsible for the writing. We go through uh, extensive rewrites over the course of months and they are responsible for directing the plays. They also will be uh, very instrumental in the lighting design, sound design, costume design. Basically this is their production uh, from the very beginning. They create the words, uh, put the words on the page and then we transfer it to the stage there. North Coast Repertory Theater has now having its uh, 20th anniversary. We're celebrating our 20th anniversary and we've actually been in Solana Beach since before it was a city and we're thrilled to be a part of this community. They are so supportive and they really love to have us um, in, in their community and to have the culture and the theater as part of the community. There's nothing between La Jolla and Carlsbad except for the North Coast Repertory Theater. We are thrilled that the city of Solana Beach has created the Public Arts Advisory Committee and that it has been such a force in really making the public aware of how much art there is in, in this city. We think it's so progressive and we're thrilled to be part of this process. I hope to be a writer when I get older and um, I definitely want to teach. This is going to be like really fun for me because I've been interested in like lighting design and I get the opportunity to uh, try that out now. Well, with this show that we're currently writing, um, I sort of co-wrote it. It was mostly Jackie, I'll give you that. But, um, <laughs> but I was, I sort of threw out ideas and we sort of just like, you know, went back and forth with ideas. And I became a racquetball, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, I'm writing the music for the songs. Our play is called Rhythms of the Heart, and it's about a girl, Jamie, and she's totally into dancing. She's a major dancer. A lot like we are into theater, so it helped <laughs> us relate to her. Yeah, and she, all her life, one of her dreams has been to get cast in a play called Swan Lake. Most people have heard of it as Odette. Well, not a play, a ballet. And she gets cast, but... <laughs> She gets cast and she finds out that she has cancer. We want to give away too much, but it just shows like how she deals with this obstacle in her life and having so many happy things happen to her and then having something come between it. The Public Arts Advisory Committee is pleased to announce the installation of a statue, Star, by artist Nikki de St. Fowl at the corner of Cedros Avenue and Lomas Santa Fe Drive. The statue is a depiction of a playful earth mother a common theme for the artist. In 2001, the PAC initiated the Artist Laureate Program, designed to recognize a Solana Beach artist for their artistic contribution and excellence to society through art. Local artist Eric Gronborg was the first recipient of the award. He was honored in City Hall at a reception themed Shaping Public Spaces. Art is important. Uh, and uh, if you look at almost any culture that's ever existed, you've seen that art has always had a very central place in, in those societies, all the way from the ancient Egypt to, uh, to our time. I mean, 
including you know, a public art that people have believed that uh, that art can really change the sense of a place, a city, or uh, whatever the location might be. In, uh, in Solana Beach, one way of making art public so, uh, is to use this, the city hall as we have here, use the entrance lobby as the gallery with art exhibits every month to give people at least some access to art uh, since the community is too small to have a major art museum like San Diego or New York or whatever. But this is one uh, important effort. My exhibit here is uh, part of that program thing of making art available to the public, uh, easy to come and see it. So, um, the specific occasion is that the Public Art Advisory Committee uh, started what they hope would be an ongoing program of, uh, of honoring local citizens, the residents of Solana Beach, who have made some artistic accomplishment and uh, in their great wisdom they picked me as the first one uh, and part of that was to have an exhibit of some of my work in the uh, uh, entrance hall of uh, the city hall. One example of the work in the exhibit is this couch. Uh, it, it represents my idea of seeing furniture as sculpture, of dealing with sculptural forms, of of uh, volumes, shapes of different kinds, and, uh, in the same way that you would deal with uh, a piece of sculpture. But it's also functional. A s similar approach to uh, what I'm doing is the ceramic piece, like this one uh, here, uh, where also the clay is soft when you're making it, as you're rolling it out into a slab. And then I can use all kinds of, of uh, stamps in it to create all the different details, just pushing those stamps into the clay. Many, many years ago, in the ages of kings and, and uh, robber barons and things of that ilk, uh, they were the ones who supported the artists with their private collections, such as the da Vinci's and the kings of France and Great Britain. And now, they, are, don't, they don't have those things anymore, so we've got to do it in some other fashion. Many uh, corporations do this, and they do it for their own benefit, but then also some of them give the arts to the community, and the communities themselves have art groups. Uh, as far as the municipalities, they often do too, and they, their purpose, of, their, of course, is to have art that is shown in the public, be it sculpture, outdoor sculpture, um, paintings, murals on walls, which is often done, uh, inside and outside walls, wall hanging such as a weaver would do, but we are really wanting to get people to enjoy art. The only way you can enjoy art is to see it over and over again. Now this is a piece of mine that is really a strictly a wall sculpture, a wall hanging. Uh, what had happened was that I would put this dark color through here, and as I, I put it through, I would pull it up into little tufts. And, and, and then by beating the next row of threads in it, I beat it in tightly. And I just made a, 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 a lines of some of these things all the way through. I went from the light clear up to the dark. And interestingly, as I wove, I began to change some of my things. You see here, I went white only part way across and dark all the way, uh, the rest of the way. Similar things up in here. So it's, as I worked on this, my design changed somewhat late, somewhat and I hope it was effective the way I did the changing. We have some banners hanging on the street and um, it's really neat to see all the different styles of art that they've chosen for this and it really shows the um, many different depths of residents that are here and any art project or museum or um, event like this just promotes creativity in the in our town and um, really sets a good example and a fun and colorful example for others to join in in such events and just hope it keeps going. It was really exciting to get chosen as one of the one of the artists. Um, this town community is very um, very much about art you know the, the design program has uh, always been the design center has always been really informative and creative and that's what Solana Beach represents to me. It's a really active and um, very diverse community in the art and music world.
The idea of this committee is to uh, give suggestions to the city about uh, things in the uh, about the arts. At this point, we are nine members, and uh, the city is uh, helping us set up programs to fundraise. And it's the first lecture that we're doing with the city on art and we plan to do many more like that. Today is going to be about public art. I think the idea of funding uh, arts for the city is an excellent idea. I think when people are exposed to art they tend to think and I think that's really important. Uh, they can like or dislike but at least they have to give some thought to the different art processes and I really think that this helps the city of Solana Beach be a better place to be. Uh, it also is very uh, uh, lightning to see art rather than just to see the sidewalks and the trees. Solana Beach is one of the few communities around here that really focuses on the arts and has a very, um, seems to have a very diverse community where the arts are very important. We've um, put an emphasis on art in our city uh, with the Cedros Design District uh, having a very, very active arts uh, uh, committee and um, we think it's part of the nourishment of life and that's and that's to have everybody understand and appreciate art. I'm really glad that Solana Beach is providing art and um, I have a wonderful uh, public arts committee. Uh, the enthusiasm, people come here even for the first time we honor um, artists, each, different artists each month and it brings a lot of people together, uh, creativity for different artists that it brings the city uh, to have a, a, a live feeling rather than a very dull city. The Cedros Design District is a bustling avenue consisting of many galleries, boutiques and shops for artists and art lovers alike. Galleries add a lot to a community by giving people a sense of art being available to them. It's, it's so much more, well I can't say more meaningful than a museum, but it's an excellent complement to it in that they're not just looking at beautiful art, but they have that feeling that they can own it. It's theirs. At TRIOS we focus on contemporary art and the art of local artists as well. We're about 80% local, which we're very proud of. But uh, if someone moves away, we don't get rid of them. So we've got artists everywhere from Canada to Brazil and everywhere in between. Having art galleries and just promoting art here in Solana Beach is just a natural complement to the beauty that we have here just right at the coast. And um, it, it just seems to make sense. People who love beauty come to Solana Beach and why not have great art here too? This is my little corner of the Trios world. I started making jewelry, well, actually before I was 10, thanks to my father who was an electrician and let us kids play with his soldering gun and wire from a very early age. Um, I've since become a gemologist and studied with a number of local universities and it just brings me a great deal of pleasure. I incorporate elements from India, antique amulets, and um, genuine gemstones. It's a real pleasure for me. We also feature the work of a number of other artists, and we're really very well known for our jewelry department. We're quite proud of it. We are the import uh, product from overseas, like India, China, Vietnam, and other parts of the world, that to offer a very special like marble, sandstone, limestone, five places, and garden, uh, because it's a growing north county. And uh, we are here to uh, serve for um, general public with our very special hand carved um, in many different countries. I think that it is really important for the city of Solana Beach to support the arts. I attended the Artist Laureate exhibition recently, which was um, quite interesting, and I think it brings the community together, and um, it's, there's not enough of it out there. I know that we've had students visit the gallery who have been doing assignments for classes, and uh, it's nice to be, for them to be able to come into a local gallery, one that's in their own community where they reside and go to school, 
and uh, see work from local artists and also work from artists you know, all around. We uh, developed the CityofDesignDistrict.com uh, website about uh, two months ago. And the purpose was that there has never been a uh, directory of all of the uh, vendors, uh, art galleries, uh, designers, architects uh, that would locate all of the um, facilities as well as the location and who they are and what they do in one particular um, uh, volume. Being in a small community and having lived outside of Solana Beach just three years ago, the difference is amazing. Um, the public art here, Star, the benches at the train station, just what they've done to Cedros, that's like incredible because that wasn't like that if several, you know, a few years ago. The galleries here locally, um, yeah, I find that the, the arts are alive here in Solana Beach and growing, I see it. It's nice to go down the street and see a piece of public art that makes you smile. I'm kind of excited and surprised that a city as small as Solana Beach is as active in the arts. Um, so I'm kind of excited just to be a part of it. I think the public arts, um, they have an opportunity to kind of change the way our children are viewing art. Um, I'd like to see more things included children in them. That's what I'd like to see so that they could begin to appreciate and understand art is hard, but it's fun. Um, one of the things that I do as an artist is I collect things. I, um, I don't like to throw anything away. So after we um, had a couple of meals with this plant, I decided to take it and put it in a vase. And what I'm doing now is like putting rhinestones on it. It's the queen. It is the queen of collards. And it is a uh, food that we have survived on for generations. And one day, um, I do have one of these presently in a gallery. Well, I think we need a, a, a space that's designated just for art. You know, we have these exhibits at, the, uh, at City Hall uh, monthly. And I think if we had a space just for exhibiting paintings and sculpture, things of that nature, uh, an art center, it would be a good thing for our city. I'm really impressed with what Solana Beach is doing. Well, I think the idea of putting the uh, Defale sculpture down by the train station, Star, was a really good move because this artist is internationally known and I've seen her work like all over the world. And uh, it gives a, a certain flavor to our city for people to go down the street and, they've, and, and to find something like that in our community. I'm at a stage right now where I'm working at in, in the uh, in the sky where I'm getting my getting my depth with uh, putting the lavenders in there because it's the color relations with the warmer foreground colors is giving me a strong depth but I'm not really sure I'm waiting for the painting to, to talk to me a little bit about that because that's the case oftentimes. Uh, I use ravens in my work often the motif uh, they serve me uh, to represent freedom, uh, and they're such big, bold black birds. Uh, they will go into the sky after I'm done with the sky. With these window frames, by working subtractive and scratching the paint away, instead of attempting to paint these small divisions of window pane and it's working quite effectively for me. So I'll continue to get that done. If this is a piece uh, that was inspired by the uh, terrorist attack at the uh, World Trade Center. I, what's interesting about it is I found the surface first. It was uh, at, a, at a demolition site and I thought I might want to do something with it and I brought them home and gessoed them and I didn't know what to do so they just sat around for like months and then this thing in New York happened and I thought they were perfect a perfect surface to paint on. There is a serious lack of education in America for traditional art it's it's really sad but what I and some of my friends have done we've had to pick up pieces here and there and the only way you can do that is go to museums 
and study the paintings because they're no, those artists are no longer alive, they're not around, so we can't ask them. But it's really exciting to see art coming alive here and a big focus on it, on Cedros. Uh, there's more and more galleries opening up. So I think as Solana Beach works with uh, artists and uh, gets the input from artists and artists work with the city of Solana Beach, that Solana Beach can be, uh, you know, an incredible city. It can be beautified through, um, you know, artists have always been the visionaries. So uh, the city can be led through the vision of the artists and uh, make it concrete through their, you know, actual work. I started the belly up in 1974. Since then it's gone through a lot of evolution. Uh, we're primarily a live music venue. Uh, we provide dancing and entertainment seven nights a week. We've also developed a large collection of uh, art as uh, you probably have seen on the walls. Uh, primarily local artists that have been in the area. Uh, but the belly up provides, I feel, a very uh, positive environment for young people, actually people of all ages, to come in a positive and safe social environment to enjoy live music, to dance, and uh, to socialize with one another. Over my years uh, being here, it's been a pleasure to work with the city of Solana Beach. I've found that the city has been very supportive of uh, our efforts here, both at the Belly Up Tavern and at the Cedos Design District, uh, enhancing and promoting art. Um, live music being one of them. So the city has been very supportive of, uh, of art in this community and I think it's important that they can recognize that and continue to do that. To learn more about the arts or get involved with the arts in Solana Beach, please visit the website at www.ci.solana-beach.ca.us or contact the Public Arts Advisory Committee through the City of Solana Beach at 858-720-2454. Special thanks to the Mayor and City Council of the City of Solana Beach for their direction, cooperation, and approval of this video project. Additional thanks to the Public Arts Advisory Committee for their persistent effort to introduce and include all types of public art into the community.